welcome back guys welcome to another session of uh, you know uh, our discussion about the CSI net uh, suggestions and in this video we'll be talking about the suggestions from the part virology I may include this part with microbiology but I exclude that because I give him uh, vir viruses a, a new room because they deserve one and among this virology part what we need to understand is majorly the lambda phase about the lambda phage especially you know lambda phage is two different cycle lytic and lysogenic cycle and the most important thing is the shift between this lytic and lysogenic cycle that is the most important part including that crow protein and the c1 c2 proteins and their activities and all these things <coughs> excuse me so this is the major part and also the life cycle of lambda how they shift between all these things rest of them the Baltimore classification of viruses and obviously including the examples there are five different classes all of the class names and their examples this is very very important with I mean uh, real examples of viruses third thing is the retroviruses that is also important now retrovirus means it is having HIV or hum human immunodeficiency virus now all of it and uh, the life cycle of HIV how they act and what are the different regions where we can use certain antiviral drugs to block HIV so I write their antiviral drugs actually to treat or go against HIV anything related with HIV and cancer is important for CSI net any part of HIV and cancer so in this case of virology you need to understand retroviral replication strategies very well the enzymes associated with retroviruses to create the infection right and also how to prevent that in different sequential stages with antiviral drugs and some real example of antiviral drugs that have been developed to go against HIV infection and uh, I, I forgot to mention here but I, I should tell you that uh, the other things that is very important is uh, the virions you know and also uh, those those prions you know prions and other infectious agents now what are prions and how they function they are the proteins that can cause infection and cause diseases or cause problems so these are the things which are also important so prions uh, the basic understanding of what prions are and what are their function in causing infection on disease right and some examples of prion diseases of human being or some other like like bovine spongiform encephalopathy kuru and so on right so these are the examples so uh, don't bother about much that these are all things that have been provided here in the playlist you can just click on the link uh, annotation in the bottom of the video and you will be redirected to the playlist just watch those videos uh, watch them which are not uh, clear for you uh, and the topics that are already clear you may skip them but uh, it is designed for you for cracking CSI net so that's how you can go for it these are the different topics you need to follow from virology and I hope that's helpful thank you